Hey everyone, Andy from Single Trap Magazine here, and I'm out in this park on this pretty nice day with this amazing bike, and I am stoked. This is a 2021 Commensal Meta AM29 Team Edition, and it's one of the very few bikes that is out in the wild. Even if you want to buy one of these bikes, now you can't. You can only pre-order them. They don't go on, they don't get shipped to customers until August 14th. So for this one to be in this park with me, just about to hit the trails is super exciting, especially for me, because for the past year or so, I've been riding the previous generation of this bike and I really like it. It's been my go-to bike to go for rides and it's also been my go-to bike to test out components. I really like that old bike. So this new one has got some really big shoes to fill. Luckily, it has some really big numbers to fill those shoes with. For example, the Reach. This is a size large bike and it has a reach of 495 millimeters. Now that's long, but especially for Commensal, that's really long because as a brand, they don't traditionally do aggressive geometry bikes. But as we've seen with the new TR and the new AM, that has changed. Now, what's really good about this is Commensal have been smart with the angles. They haven't just slapped a massive reach number on here and said, okay, done. They've been really clever with the angles too. So the seat tube on this bike is 78.5 degrees. That's pretty steep and it puts you in a really good seated uh, climbing position. It also means that the effective top tube length is just 636 millimeters. So don't look at this reach and think it's gonna to be too long. It's actually really nice and compact when you're sat down, but then when you stand up, you've got a really long wheelbase. The wheels are really far out in front of you and behind, and you're sat in the frame, ready to rail around corners and hit jumps. The front end on this bike has a 63.6 .6 degree head tube angle. That is very slack, but with the short offset fork, the wheel isn't miles out in front of you. Another really nice change on this frame is the seat tube height. It's just 440 millimeters, and that's on a large. Some brands you'll find 440 millimeters on a medium, and that means we can get away with a much longer dropper post. And actually, if I was gonna complain about anything on my previous Commensal, it is the seat tube is a little bit too long, so they fixed it with this. The frame changes don't stop there though. Another little niggle I had with the previous generation bike was the inside uh, disc brake mount, the internal disc brake mount. And what I mean by that is it sat on the inside of the chainstay and that made the back end very wide and it could rub on your shoes. Now Commensal has changed that. They've put a regular post mount on this bike that narrows down the back end and it should improve heel clearance. So lots of really good changes on this. Throughout all those changes, they've also increased the space in the frame, so you can easily put a bottle cage in there and a full-size bottle. The cable routing has completely been redone. It's all revamped and new, and all the bearings are at double-sealed Enduro bearings, so it should last really long, and it shouldn't need servicing very often either. Changes Continue though, we've got a lower stack on this bike. I can't remember the reach, uh, sorry, the stack height on it off the top of my head, but compared to my other Commensal, the front end is much lower too. So yeah, a lot of changes. It kind of looks similar to the previous generation bike, but there's so much has changed. Suspension travel hasn't changed though. The front has 170 millimeters and the rear has 160 millimeters, but the shock stroke has changed. This shock on this bike is a uh, 62.5 millimeter stroke. Whew. Yeah, the previous bike was 60 millimeters. This is 62.5. The overall eye to eye is still 230, but the actual stroke has changed. So minute, tiny details have changed on that. And Commensal have done that so they can improve small bump sensitivity and they also still have that nice progression and ramp up at the end. The whole idea about this bike is, yeah, it might not be the lightest, but the kinematics, the suspension, should ensure that this rides light, it feels light, and it's lively and playful. 
And to be honest, lively and playful aren't the kind of things we t tend to associate with a big 170 mil travel 29er, but they did it with the previous bike and I'm sure they've done it with this one too. Yeah, it's 29 inch wheels, front and rear. And on this, the team edition bike, we've got DT Swiss EX511 wheels, front and rear. We've got really nice Schwalbe Addix compound tires, front and rear, we've got a Magic Mary on the front and a Big Betty on the rear. I don't even think the Big Betty has been released yet, but it's got one on here. Uh, we've got the brand new SRAM GX Eagle drivetrain on here. This is a little bit different to the Eagle drivetrain that I've been trying on the my other Commensal because this has the alloy chain set on here, whereas I've been using the carbon one, but everything else is the same. It still has that massive 52%, 52 tooth cassette and 520% range. So, yeah, it might be big. Yeah, it might be a little bit heavy, but it doesn't matter. I've got a massive gear to climb up everything and I've got a really nice seat tube angle and affected top tube for really nicely positioned climbing too. Other different bits and bobs on this bike are the forks. The previous generation bikes all came with Lyrics or 36s and this has got the Monster Zeb on here, the RockShox Zeb. It's a 170 mm travel fork. I've not ridden on the Zeb yet. I wasn't lucky enough, lucky enough to have that fork, uh, but Ross did review it and he says I will like it. So I'm very interested to see how good this fork will be. The rear shock is a RockShox Deluxe Ultimate. So it has um, a compression lever and rebound and it's an air shock. So super duper easy to set up. Obviously the Zeb fork has compression and rebound and it's an air fork. Great performing RockShox suspension front and rear. The dropper post on here is a Kineshock Lev. And this, I've not really used Kineshock dropper posts very much, but everything that I've read about them seems to be good. And this one actually feels super smooth. So I'm really interested to see how well that lasts. Finishing kit, we've got a fabric saddle and that is probably one of the most comfortable saddles on the market. And we've got a bunch of uh, Commensal's own brand components, the Ride Alpha components. The Ride Alpha bar, I've been using that bar on my previous bike, even though I have changed stems, I've kept that Commensal bar. It's a really nice, comfortable uh, sweep back and rise. Yeah, really great bar. The stem is a new 40 mil stem, slightly shorter than uh, the previous bike. And we've got Commensal's Al uh, Ride Alpha single lock on grips. And that means there's one lock on, so you can use all the length of the grip and not have to worry about an uncomfortable lock at the end. We had, oh, the brakes are SRAM code RSC brakes. And what's really nice, they've used got these titanium bolts for the calipers, which just looks really trick. So that's it, that's the new Commensal Meta AM29 Team Edition 2021 bike. Looked rad, cannot wait to ride it. So what I'm gonna do now is get home, get changed, get it dirty on the trail, and I'll give a full review in a few weeks time. See you all soon.